TLO, what's poppin'? We are on kick. We are live. But by the time you see this, we probably won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Remember, on kick, we can watch certain things that we couldn't watch on Twitch. So we're going to be watching. We, hey, listen. It's up to you if you want to come over here and, and follow. I ain't going to keep explaining it. I'm going to let y'all know what I'm doing, but I ain't going to keep explaining it. We also got the Patreon. Um, we just started Sherlock. Sherlock is dropping in. Y'all, well, y'all, it's already dropped by the time y'all see this video, so. Uh, and we also got the Discord as well. The link to all of these are down below. But this is Traffic Cops on Edge slash Police Interceptors. We just Traffic Cops, Season 12, Episode 6. Let's get into it, man. So uh, there's, it increases the chances that we might have been. Not like. First of all. Take me Give me your fire and I'll Nice cry. I haven't used other traffic cops. Oh, yeah. Can I get some of these? No strikes, mate. You're gonna go to prison. Nick again. I hate it. I've seen a lot of negativity right there. I don't even want this. Excited to work oh, right. November units. If you could start making your way, please. We have a report for three vehicle collision. Yeah, 10 4. North Yorkshire Police deal with 1,200 calls a day. Many are from members of the public with a tip-off. Oh, so there's tattletales in the Yorkshire. Huh? Good, Cole. Have we got any details, description? Possibly. Um, a black Volkswagen, possibly a female driver. I will be there as soon as possible. We're currently on the way to a, uh, a failed to stop RTC. One of the vehicles has made off into a local housing estate. Could be uh, maybe a drink driver. PC Mike Rowan is the nearest officer to where the car was last seen. It's been well, I feel like when I watch traffic cops, they got more stuff attached to them than police interceptors. I feel like traffic cops are tryhards. Like, y'all be overly exerting yourself. Police interceptors, you know, they cool, they chilling, they let it come to them. And then they get, you know, get on your ass. But before that, they, they just chilling. <laughs> Ear garden weather outside at the moment. So uh, there's, it increases the chances that we might have been down a local pub, uh, having a few, uh, a few drinks, and then they've got back in the car to drive back home. I have so many idea. This is owned by someone that's uh, in York on the way back on the silver one. That is, this could be it. Okay. So they weren't in the car. They so were no one's been in the car. No, no one's injured. It's uh, a quiet street. I'd hate to think what it'd be like uh, if children were out in the street playing. It'd be horrendous if there was was children involved. Mm. After smashing into two parked cars, witnesses claim the driver fled the scene to a house around the corner. All right, where are we going then? <laughs> this looks like a, like a community. Like, everybody might know each other. Like, where are you running to? Like, if the police don't find you, I'm going to eventually find you. And, and you don't want, you know what I'm saying? Like, down the bench first, but... All right. Do we know what car it was? Was it a black? It's like a VW Reserve, by the way. Just... What's that? Uh, it's it's... made up. Yep. Hello. Tell you what, put dog away in the garden for come us. On, come on. And then we can have a chat with you rather than out with dog barking. If you're scared of the dog, just say you're scared of the dog. Yeah, she just rang me. Right. My son's on his way back from France. He's been to watch the rugby. All right, okay. 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 Apparently, she was driving through the estate and obviously lost control, whatever, and smashed into the car. Yeah, do you want to get her to come out here? Yeah, okay, yeah. stop there. Go on. Quite a bit of damage to the front. So wait, why did he not? Yeah, she's, uh, she's in a bit of a stay. Oh, it's fine. Uh, rather than Hello, anything, sir. Uh, yeah, all right, I won't shake your hand because of COVID okay, and everything like that. that. Yeah. yeah. 
Um, What's your name? Uh, Sergeant Stagg. Hello, Sergeant. All right. The reason why we've come round is to have a chat with you about road traffic collision. Yes. All right. Um, first of all, um, were you driving the car involved? No, my um, nephew was driving the car. Your nephew is driving the car, right? Okay, and how old is your nephew? Uh, 22. 22, mm -hmm. right. Bro, bring that grown ass man outside. Why y'all keep speaking for him? They don't want to speak to y'all. Where is he? Okay, where's your nephew now? Right. Okay, right. My concern is, um, from all the information that we've been given, mm -hmm. is that they've identified a female as driving. I don't want you to be lying to me because no, if you are I'm then i'm gonna have to consider you. potentially locking you and yeah, nephew of course. up and yeah. my nephew yeah Thank you. right okay so despite your claims that your nephew were driving oh, they um the information that i've been given i was suspect it was you who was driving okay so are you happy to provide a, a sample of breath i'm so happy okay right yeah. Pop yourself to the car and then no, we'll do no. a breath test. I'm so, I'm so I can't. No, you can't run back inside. No, no. She's trying to run! Why? Right. You've got to go with You've got to go no, with it. No, excuse me, no. Listen, right, no. listen. No. Let me explain to you. No. Right. I'm, just stand I'm there sorry, can I just go and sort my dog out? Not at the moment. Your dog is inside and behind the gate. It's all right. Right. Listen to me. Calm down. I'm not panicking. I'm fine. I just want to go and sort my dog out and I'll go for a week. Your dog's fine. Right? We'll you can't go for a wee. Why? I can't. Why? Right. She's trying to go inside, brush her teeth, you know what I'm saying, gargle with, with, with peroxide or something. Sort my dog out is crazy. Like, your dog is fine. He's home. <laughs> Listen, right? Listen to me, right? You've agreed to, 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 to complete these tests. No! Right. Yeah, just put the handcuffs on her. It's over. With. Calm down. Please, calm down. Please. At the I moment, think, all uh, we I think, I think speak to my partner. Yeah. No. Oh, no. Listen. Can you get off me, please? I'm not getting off you because you're please. not complying with us. Pop yourself please. on the rest. Just so we can have a chat with her. Please. please. Yeah. Right. Listen. If you are going to fight with us, then I've got no option but to lock you up. Right, that's All right. fine. Okay, yeah. right. So you sit yourself in the me? car. You sit in the car. Sit, no, we'll go can, right. I, can I just... I've taken hands there. off you. That's fine. Sit that's yourself fine. in the car. So... Sit yourself I'm... in the car for us. And then and let's then we'll do it one step at a time. If the tests are all negative, then you can go back and speak to you, whoever you need to speak to. Yeah? Yeah? I just want to speak to my partner. I appreciate that, but at the moment I get that. At the moment, you're not going to speak to your partner. He's not. I've been told that he's not even in the country. Oh, he's in. No, he's in he's France. Not, yeah. See, so we can, can I get a glass of water? No. no. <laughs> hey, she trying everything she got in her bag. Hey, this is her first time ever getting arrested. She said, "Can I sort my dog? Can I take a wee? <laughs> can I brush? What she say? Can I brush my teeth? What? What else did she say?" And then she wanted a glass of water. Like, bro, get in the car. The jig is up. You're going to jail. It's up. It's done. Sit yourself in the car. Let's do one step at a time. First of all, we need to do these tests. Junk people aren't always the easiest of people to deal with. They don't rationalise in the same way that sober people do. So sometimes it can be quite difficult to manage their behaviour. They just lose that ability to deal with what's actually happening in their lives. Okay. Have you done one of these before? Yes. You have. Many right. times. Okay. Many of times. So blow. Keep going. 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 And keep going. And stop. Right. So she's a veteran alcoholic. You have failed for a roadside breath test. So, at this moment in time, you are under arrest on suspicion of driving a motor vehicle whilst over prescribed limits please, for alcohol. Please, can I just see... Can I see my father-in-law, please? There with... Please, that's all I'm asking. Just, a... I, I'm getting fed up with having to repeat myself. One step at a time. You are under arrest. You are staying I in this car. I don't give a shit if I'm under arrest, but... Yeah, <laughs> right. Door closed. We'll give her a few minutes to calm down. She's blown 135. Dang uh, So that's um, getting on for three and a half times over the drink li drive limit. Um, it's a lot. Shut the door now. Sorry, we're going to be moving you into the back of this van now anyway. No, you're not going to be here. 
fan. Like there's no need for you to swear, is there? I know there's no I have not sworn at you, you so I'm don't sorry. swear at me. I'm so sorry. I have no decorum at this moment of time. I've just been caught out and I'm so sorry. Right. I apologise. Sincerely. OK. I'm going to ask you again, um, who was driving that car? It wasn't me. It wasn't you? No. Right. I feel angry. Hey, just stick with that. You're drunk. Just continue saying it wasn't you driving. You'll be okay. They can't put it on nobody. They're going to have to drive it. Towards drink drivers, because it's known by everybody that drink driving is unacceptable. Under is no it? circumstances should they yes, it is. be getting behind the wheel of a car. You all right, mate? Where did she just come from? Was she playing, like, rugby or something? What's going on? She's playing a game of Quidditch. <laughs> All right, OK. Um, so, your mum's been arrested for yes. drink driving. Yes. All right. Um, so, she's coming to the police station with us. Yeah. Um, she's likely going to be there for much longer now because she's claiming that she didn't want driving. Um, loads of people have said that they've seen her driving. Yeah. So she's doing the wrong thing by doing that. She's, she's going to be kept in for longer. Yeah. But yeah, it's not going to be a, a, a be quiet, son. Quick thing. Um, if she's disputing it. Yeah. Speaking to the family, she has some historical issues. I could never wife a girl who has. I, I just can't. I'm sorry. Like if you have an alcohol problem. I understand that it's a like you need help, like it's something that is serious. It's a serious matter, but I'm just putting that out there for me. If like socially, all right, cool, we can go drink socially, but if you had the crib cracking open a fifth of vodka, just on a Tuesday, like I, hey, I'm good. I'm good. Stay blessed. <laughs> I feel sorry for her family in these circumstances as well. She's taken this bad course of action today by getting behind the wheel and uh, crashing into two cars. Right, you, you need yeah, to come out. You need, yeah, come out. You need to come out. I want to speak to my boyfriend. Well, you're not speaking to your boyfriend. Right. Just just come sorry. Right, come on. Out you come. No chance. No. Hey. No. Her son's turned up, having to watch her get locked up. Oh. And she had to be forcibly restrained to stop her from... He's sitting there like, Mom, listen, it's your fault. You did it again. He is so used to this. Escaping. Oh, stop it. Just move your hand for me. I'm trying to. Yeah. I won't be sorted out. Right, relax your right arm for us so we can get the cuff on so we oh, don't hurt you. Up. I'll put your eyes out. You're only making I'm it harder for yourself. To. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. Alcohol doesn't just affect that person, uh, it affects their family, their friends, their relationships. Exactly, and this is exactly why I couldn't even do it. <laughs> it also affects their work, uh, their ability to go and function day to day. A lot of people can't even hold a conversation whilst drunk. All right, up yourself in, watch your head. Yeah. The woman will be taken into custody for an evidential breath test. 135 blown at the roadside uh, is very high reading, certainly for half three, four o'clock in the afternoon. She's had quite a few. It's almost an everyday occurrence where we deal with some kind of drink driving offence. We often encounter people who see it as being acceptable to get in their car and drive to the pub and then drive home again after. Wait, what does she say? She threatened the officer? It depends where it depends where you're at. If you're like in the city, they they're gonna ignore that. But if you're in a suburb, they they book they getting you for everything in America. If you're in a burb, you can't even utter. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. In the suburbs, they would have booked her for that. They would have got her. In the city, they would have been like, girl, get in this car. Ain't nobody worried about you. They're having a couple of pints. The consequences of that can be catastrophic. Sit up now. Ah, sit up. You Road. And uh, the police. The male that's insured on this beer club, he's got a uh, marker on the Intel marker that he has got connection with dealing drugs. It really just depends how annoyed the cop is with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're super annoyed with her. They're going. 
They're gonna get her for every every possible thing. Looking for a Skoda Fabia with his headlight out. Traffic cops Gav Pearson and Dan Stoppard are heading out to patrol near York. We've received some information about a car that's linked to a male that is involved in Class A drugs, believed to be in the Selby area. Class We've been sighted driving around there, so we're just making our way to that location, see if we can see the car uh, and get it stopped. So it's coming in and out of here. What is this? I'm just waiting to see if it comes. Just going to sit down here, mate. Should be fairly easy to spot. Drug drivers are a massive problem. I don't think the public fully realise how how much it goes off. We're regularly dealing with them day in, day out. Yeah. This is bothering me. Hold on. Two one. Two one. Where are you going? Yeah. We're going into McDonald's. Two one. We've got contact. Contact with that uh, Skoda. We're going into McDonald's. Uh, McDonald's. What's going on, y'all? <laughs> hey, that's the first time I see somebody actually follow me and that pop up. That's hilarious. Before he gets to that car. Sorry, mate. Sorry, you get him. Get him in that car. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Keep what? your hands where they are. What? Keep your hands where they are. What are you doing? Get under him. What? 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 Hey, no, you listen. Stand here. Ah, sit up now. I understand that the car is linked with Class A's, but like, or he's linked with Class A's, but dang. There you are. If you chuck something, you tell us. Otherwise, you'll all be arrested and taken through. Where's the wallet? Yeah. All right. There you go. You're under arrest on suspicion of possession of a Class A substance. All right. Right. Yeah. That's the very first thing. Right. Stand up. Yeah, is there a job on? Tell my mum, please. No, I can't tell you. You need to tell me what they've been arrested again for nothing. Girl, go tell his mum. He's on my dress ASAP. He's shouting and screaming to get somebody there. So I'm guessing he's got something in the house. Well, she's found the dress. Please. I'll tell her. I'll tell her. I will. Now. Yeah, look like he got a decent little chick with him, though. Huh? <laughs> Her face is blurred, but the rest of her look alright. The arrest is not allowed to speak to anybody. We might be trying to get something to dispose of or conceal. Hurry up. <laughs> I'm going to have to have a look through your car fully. Not saying that I condone anything illegal, you two. I'm just saying, like, if you're in the car with me, like, <laughs> there's certain precautions that we got to take. There's certain things that you got to know. <laughs> you get me. Allegedly is what I'm saying. Porto, yes, yes, if you could make your way. Please. Control has dispatched officers to check the driver's mum's address. Got the power to uh, search the property in connection with the offence for which this lad's been locked up for. So um, technically, whatever power. Yeah, he know he can't take her with her no him nowhere else. Fourth entry, but hopefully we can explain everything to them. A few miles away, Chris Corey and David Minto arrive at another address linked to the driver. Hello, good evening. Sorry to uh, come so late. Can I come in and have a chat with you? That's OK. Thank you very much. The reason that we're here is um, because we've arrested somebody. Is he living here at the minute? 
Yes. Okay. We are going to be conducting a search of your property. Okay. As officers carry out searches, back in the car park, evidence against the driver is stacking up. Got a drug test as well done. I have, yeah. You said no warrant, no search. I've been watching these for a minute. Once they pull you over, at least in the UK, if they pull you over and they find something, they have all the right to go search your crib, which is crazy to me. That is not a thing in America, I don't think. But it's a thing out there. They call it a section something. It gives them permission. Wow. He obviously dumped something in the car when we've come here, so we've got some drugs in the wallet. So that's the main thing. That's a good thing to recover. A lot of... A lot of empty bags. Dang! So got a problem. We all residue in them for um, Class A. Looks to be cocaine. And then just one small rock of cocaine. Because you've been driving, right. all right, the speed you were driving, I'm going to require you to provide me a specimen of saliva for testing at the roadside. Right. All right, so for drugs tests. All right, and your pupils are quite wide. Right. Have you used either cannabis or cocaine or any not other cannabis. drugs? No, no. No. I'm not, I'm not doing it because the know I'm a heavy user and it'll and I'm not doing it. That's fine. If you don't do it, right. refusal is an offence. Right, all right, right, yeah. So you're refusing to do yeah, a roadside specimen? Hey, <laughs> he's geeked. Hey. What for the... He can't even get the words out. Look, the officer want to laugh. Did you read my records? No. Yeah. Because you were driving like an idiot, you've had drugs on you, and your pupils are that wide, mate, I can't see the rest of your eyes. Well, that's so wide. I suspect you that to be under the influence of a drug. If you're not, then there's no issues with doing it, is there? So are you going to do the preliminary test or not? I just don't understand why, why, why I'm going through all this again. The question is, yeah, are you... You got 7,000 baggies in your car. Or, you know what I'm saying? You got a 50 bag. You get me. Look at your eyes. My boy, eyes look like bottle cap. You out here like these. Like, what? It's over with. I'm prepared to do the preliminary test, thank you. If all I was going to ask you to do is just take a seat in there. Pop your legs in. Oh, man. You ever done this before? Yeah, I have, and I passed three of them. Just Not open your today, mouth, buddy. Us. Sit your tongue out. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah. Put that on there. The way you drive, drove away from us, mate, absolutely ridiculous. Have you been drug tested before? Yeah. Yeah, so you're waiting for the results then. Yeah. Right, this is going to be second hit, in it? So, second strike this, Cocker. I've been sleeping in my car. Mm. Because I've been having a really hard time. I've... I've got no one. I don't have anyone. <clears throat> right, it's been 11 minutes. That's All right, I'll show you the kit, because I don't know if you've seen these before. The line there that shows it positive for cocaine. <laughs> OK, so apart from the uh, being arrested on suspicion of possession with intent to supply a Class A drug, you're also being arrested on suspicion of driving whilst the proportion of a specified drug, namely cocaine, exceeds a specified limit, all right? <laughs> hey, I'm so sorry. It's a specified limit. Hey. Right. <laughs> oh, man. He did everything he could do wrong, and then he's sitting in the car like this. It's a dub, my boy. Right. Any more strikes, mate, you're gonna go to prison. You can see he's panicking. He's just overwhelmed in his own self-pity. and it's hot. He feels wronged. He's trying to blame everything else on his situation. He made the choice to turn around and take drugs. He made the choice to carry drugs around. He made the choice to drive that car. And he needs to wake up to that fact. Literally, right, at Christmas, <sighs> I was, I was bad on it, mate. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. I know, I know, I know that, and I know that, and I know You're that. still using and driving? You're still using and driving? That, that's the I problem. I have used it today. I have not used it today. Well, it's come back pretty it's solid. I know, but I haven't used it today. Man, you just got done. I use it. <laughs> I'm just speaking to the private. No. Because you... We've got, no, no sorry, you're not speaking in private. You're already in trouble. Don't get her in it. don't get her involved in it. Well, you, you did straight away when you're saying ring your mum and stuff like that. So chill out. Leave her out of it. <laughs> You've got serious coke habit, lad. Haven't you? 
I know I've messed up and I know I go to it to make to clear my head. Hey, don't clear your head, mate, because it makes you feel up and then it makes you feel down and makes you feel like you are now because you'll feel crap after it. That's the problem. The dog searched the car and has found no indication of any other drugs in there, but I am sure that we will see this car again in the near future. We're all in, aren't we? No on the as the driver is taken to custody, Chris and David finish their house searches. Have they found anything? Yeah, we've we'll searched that top and bottom and uh, negative and he sleeps there. He just brings sort of limited belongings, what he needs, and then disappears. They don't see a huge amount of him and we've looked at obviously the shared facilities, um, but it is a negative. Okay, at least they didn't find none at the crib. All he got is all he got to worry about was you know what I'm saying, fight the little charge with the with the with the possession, and being high while driving. Yeah, no, I appreciate that, mate. Sounds ideal. Uh, thanks for that. To actually get these people, uh, it's more of a passion to be honest. Everybody loves to get those jobs. When you get them in cuffs and you find the evidence, it's absolutely fantastic, and you know you've done a good job for the public. Sent to Oscar Romeo units, uh, so heading for the uh, A1 southbound. Get reports of a collision now. That's A1 southbound. Services, please. Yeah, received. I'm going to try the best I can time wise, but weather conditions are, are pretty poor. Yeah, that's all received. Thank you. Traffic cop Gav Pearson is back on duty and on his way to a crash. We've had a report of a collision on the A1 and southbound. Um, I'd be surprised to see what's actually happened because the roads are, are pretty much slippery. As you can see, they're empty. Uh, he probably hit a wall. The A1 is that a highway, right? He probably hit a wall. Dang. Horrible. We got to have your wits about you. Well, I believe there's members of public on scene who are saying that it might be um, a drink driver. Chris, are you, are you nerve now? Yes, mate, just approach him. Is it in the live lane, you know? It says so. I think he said it's been into central reservation, so it's going to be in lane three. So far. Traffic cop Chris Story is also en route to the crash scene. It is minging. This road is horrendous. It does make it a lot more difficult to drive in. You've got to bring your speed. It's not common for few pools of water to fall um, and if you hit one of them at um, any speed really you're looking at disaster wait what phil it should be just around here somewhere so we're just looking out for a near debris it looks like they're from the hard shoulder uh, do a carriageway okay okay oh, there is there's debris here two zero we've got debris in there uh, lanes one two and three we're getting the rolling block put on. Get back in your car. Go back to your car. Go back to your car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to go back to your car, man. I got, I got in Chicago. This is like the number one way for to to, to unalive yourself. Trying to help somebody that crashed on the highway, and you get out your car and try to walk across lanes. I've seen it. I've not seen it, but I've heard of it. Coming up, three of you. A driver's past catches up with Gay of Pan positive on the vehicle. Tom. Exactly. How are we doing? Uh, just recently in Chicago, RIP, it was a. They was on 90. Yeah, I wouldn't even know the highway. They was on the highway. There was a car accident. And I think the girl had got flung out of her car. It was a boyfriend and a girlfriend. She got flung out of the car. And the boyfriend was okay. But he jumped out of the car to make sure she was okay. And then they both got ran over. 
And then they both was gone. R.I.P. We've got debris in lane one, two, and three, haven't we? So if we can get it just swept off I mean, as much as we can, and then we can just get this up and back up. Yeah. Um, yeah, no worries. The majority, I think, main majority is just in onto our shoulders is ricocheted off. Yeah. It's 2.30 in the morning, and traffic cops are trying to find out what caused a crash on the A1. Dang. As I was coming along the A1, coming around the corner, the car had hit the central reservation as I was coming around the corner, and I saw it swerving to the side. A passing motorist could be a vital witness. So obviously I've got here, made sure it was okay at first, as the window came down, then obviously I rang 999. Right, who are you on phone to? Uh, yes, uh, the driver and passengers are unhurt. Right. Just stay in the car, lads. We'll sort it out. Have you got your licence on you and everything? Just sit tight a minute, all right. Probably in there playing around. Where are they all? They're in car. They're in the car. They're in the car. Still. I'm just going. To that, That's driver. Right, I'll go right. them. Yeah. Whilst Gav deals with the debris, Chris speaks to the driver. Hiya, are you all right? Are you driver, yeah? Don't just jump out and come have a seat in my car and we'll have a chat about what's happened. Is anybody hurt at all? Uh, no, I'm gonna love you fine. Are you all, you're all fine, not hurt? Okay, no problem. Definitely gonna find something illegal in here. I'm just gonna, I'm out here judging books by their cover today. <laughs> come and have a seat in my car, friend. I see a Gucci cross bag. <laughs> Class A's. Uh, basically, I was driving and also I could see if the car was kind of slipping. Yeah. So all that, all I just remember, it literally the car went flipped around. Okay. One of that side. Yeah. And then I got to one on this side. Right. So it was, it wasn't really drivable, but you so know. You've managed to limp it off the road. Side. No problem. Who were in your car? Is it just mates or family members? Yeah, just my mates. Yeah. And where have you been? Just to go and see a friend? Yeah. No problem. And going back home now? Yeah. Okay, no problem. Um, I'm just going to conduct a couple of preliminary tests with you now. Basically, the first one's going to be for any alcohol that might be in your system, and the second for any drugs. Do you ever use any alcohol recently? No? And do you use any drugs at all? Perfect. Won't take too long. Obviously, we've got a loss of control in lane three. Um, he's then hit the central reservation and spun out. He's um, done quite a considerable amount of damage to his car to the stage that it's probably going to be a write off. Yeah, that's a that's a, that's totaled. The whole tire gone, the whole shock, spring, strut, everything is gone. First report was made to us by a member at public. Um, it appears that nobody in the subject car that's been in the collision has actually phoned the police. So I, I find that a little bit concerning, the fact that there's debris on the road, bits of their car, and it's putting other people in danger, and they aren't phoned. He's obviously going to have some questions to answer. But we've got to think speed's going to be a factor in this as well. Uh, speed's in, and probably inexperience at weather. Because if, if you end up crashing on this, then you're going too fast for the conditions that you're driving in. Oh, how are we doing? Negative breath, just waiting for trouble. You're lucky. You're lucky no one's been hurt, yeah. Right, I'll come around and show you the test. When they come around and show you, <laughs> there's drugs in your system. Because you could have just told me no from the driver's seat. But that, I'm going to come around and show you, that's bad news. <laughs> One in 20 fatalities on our roads is caused by drug driving. It's now tested for in all crashes. This test basically tests for cannabis and cocaine, OK? You can see for the cannabis one, there are two lines. So that's a positive indication for cannabis, OK? So I suspect that you've probably been telling me a bit of a porky about whether you use drugs or not because it's indicated for cannabis in your system. All right? Well, I probably smoked it last night. You smoked it last night? Okay. Mm -hmm. So at the moment you run... Don't we stay in your system for like 30 days? Like, I don't even... That, like, that test is... If Unless it's a test where it's so accurate that it... it it can tell if it's been in your system for the last 12 hours or eight hours, however long it, like three hours, then I ain't throw that out in court. I'm bringing a lawyer, throw it out. Under arrest on suspicion of driving a motor vehicle whilst over a specified limit for a drug, namely cannabis. Is there any drugs on you or in the vehicle that I'm gonna find? Uh, you can have a look. 
just be honest with me, because if there is some, we're going to find it. You don't know why there isn't. I've got a grinder. You've got a grinder. Yeah. Stirring on the And is there anything in it, or it's an empty grinder? And there's no drugs in the car. Right. Okay. No problem. It kind of boggles the mind as to what on earth was he thinking to travel down a water-soaked road with heavy rainfall in the dark at speed and have cannabis in your system. It leaves him speechless, to be honest. And then when you think about the fact that he's got passengers in the car, at what point is he going to accept responsibility here to say, is it safe for me to drive? So now what's going to be happening is that we're going to be getting the occupants of the car. They're going down the service system at their own way back. Drivers in our custody. Then we'll be giving a blood sample and probably an interview at some point in the morning. I've been super lucky today. Um, it's amazing that there haven't been uh, any other vehicles involved in this. A black car on a dark stretch of road and being in a live lane would have been uh, a recipe for disaster. Yeah, I'm not a smoker, so I wouldn't even... I would assume that it's... The, the times that I have done these things where they are illegal where I am, um, I definitely couldn't drive. Me, I de There's no way that I could get behind a car and drive. You're not going to survive something like that. Thank you very much. I like that. Somebody else who's come up behind, pulled over because you were concerned, he's then phoned us and kind of restores you the faith in humanity a little bit. He's done everything that they should have done, which is called the police to make sure everybody else is safe. So my hat's off to him. He's done a good job. Uh, have you got somebody you can call? Yes, we'll make phone calls. We'll make some phone calls. Gee, look at the car, is gone. York Force Control. There is a white VW Crafter that's northbound. Five hours into the night shift at police control. A video has been sent to control room today of this guy snorting white powder and then driving away. Yeah, just it now, is it? Yeah, like literally seconds ago, mate. Northbound. Yeah. Tip over there. Traffic cops Rich Ellis and Rich Clark are the first officers to respond. Just had uh, some information passed to us. Possibly a uh, white VW Crafter van. The driver had been seen at some point today snorting white powder. So. Sounds like a drug driver to me, does that? This has come off uh, Cop Top, yeah. hasn't it? That's it. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, that, that was laden. We respond regularly to tip offs from that a tow public, truck? people, loath, drinking drug drivers. Uh, they're a menace to society, oh, a danger to road users and themselves. The tow truck getting yeah, high? Yeah, white flat bed, he's got a trailer on the back, two cars on, Stop and it. he's, we think he's heading to the car plot. He's excess end. speed, he's all over the road, he's got a moving traffic offence. It's up to 50 mile an hour now, isn't he? Really? Rich signals for the driver to pull over. Put your, sig put your lights on, what do you have? They don't got flat, like blue, they don't got lights. <laughs> what you, why y'all flashing y'all headlights? There you go. Right, let me tell you something. When you're told to stop by the police, you, you put, listen, up. listen, I'm speaking. When you're told to stop by the police, you pull over and stop. You don't just keep going and say, I'm going in there. You don't want it like that, mate. So that's failing to stop. Pull it over there, please. Can I go in my car back there? Pull it over there, please. He was just trying to get it out the way, right? Or he was trying to pull in his stuff. Start doesn't stop starting very well for him, is it? Bless him. Going downhill, aren't we? Aren't we just? Ten for what? 
Do you have to turn it off, please, sir? Thank you. Have you got your driving licence on you? Of course I do. Right. Third time on truck. I'm enjoying this now. Yeah, your driving isn't as it should be. That's what's caught our attention. And then when we've attempted to stop you, you didn't stop. What, pull over so, in the middle of a road? Not in the middle of the road. You, you, pull, it, you, pull, you, pull, over, road. you pull over adjacent to the kerb. My determination was that it was safe for you to stop. OK. You failed to do that, so I had to then come alongside you. It's not for you to decide where you wish to stop. You I just stop. It's at the top of the street. You just, you just stop. We've got you excess speed at 50 mile an hour. All right. So I'm going to require you to provide a breath test. I'm going to require that you undergo a drug wipe. All right. So this is a drug Thank wipe. You. Have you done one of these before? Yeah. Right. So I just, I'm just after you getting those three prongs there wet. Right, mate. Bro. They got him deep throat in the ding. Like, what is going on? Like, I would definitely gag. Like, pause. Right, this test takes eight minutes. It tests for basic common street drugs. Now, test takes eight minutes. It him spitting after is crazy. <laughs> like, like, okay. Tests for basic common street drugs, namely cannabis and cocaine. All right. You say you've done a thousand miles today? Yeah, like... The driver's been in. So he's a professional tow truck driver now, all of a sudden. He knows. You say you've done a thousand miles? He knows how to. Today? Yeah, like... The driver's been in that vehicle for the last 30 hours, up and down the country, delivering and picking up cars. It's got a registration plate missing and excess speed. We've done a drug wipe. I'm just waiting to see uh, what the results of that are. Your driving's below standard, and you're not right. You're not driving a motor vehicle on the road according to the law. As a motor trader, you should know that law. All right, and if you don't, you need to brush up on it. What's it doing? Very faint. There, look, just coming through now. See it? Oh yeah, he's got it. Mate, it's going to be on. There. Look. It's not at eight minutes. It's probably at about three, and it's coming up positive on coke. Pretty much what the information said that you'll see snorting some white powder. A trail on the back, two cars on the back, probably combined weight, 10 ton. I'll let you give them the good news, mate. Provided a positive sample of cocaine. Give up. Okay, yeah, mate, under arrest. Are you taking the piss? Nope. Have you had any? No. In the last two weeks? Maybe in the last two weeks, yeah? Yeah, so it can, it can go back 20 days. For some time, can't 20 it? days. You're under arrest for that. All right, we'll take it down to Fulford, and there we formally require. Bro, that sounds, that sounds like BS. I'm talking, you talking about tonight. <laughs> this test goes 20 days back? Come on now. Here, provide us with some blood. Again. Okay. Right, jump out, mate. He's been in that vehicle for over a thousand miles today while under the influence of drugs. Now, I, I do believe that he is high. <laughs> Take a seat, mate. I would expect most people to maybe get a latte or a Red Bull. It's not acceptable. We're not having it. And we will go to the far ends to find these people and bring them to justice. Do the blood test. Hello? Oh, Leeds. Hello? Suspect is going to go on to the um, 64. Yeah, I'll save your head up that way. Just outside Leeds, traffic cop Matt Harvey is acting on reports that the van driver arrested two days ago is back on the road. The lorry is about three three minutes ahead of us. We've had a, uh, an APR oh. sighting, a previous report about the driver the was seen man. snorting a white substance believed to be cocaine for a five pound note and then get into a, a lorry and drive off. Can't be far away now. When I hear the report of someone snorting cocaine and driving a lorry, my initial thought is uh, panic and horror. I mean, it's bad enough to be snorting cocaine driving any vehicle, but in particular... Uh, I would say you... I don't condone it, but don't that make you, like, more focused? ...van or a large vehicle, it's going to create massive implications if that vehicle is involved in an accident due to its, its size. 
We've just been monitoring his driving at the moment and he's been hitting the uh, the white line. Um, so when we stop with more speed, we're potentially we'll be looking at doing a, a, another drug swipe with him. He's previously had... This the same dude as the last clip? Bro. ...history for being violent. I mean, hopefully today he's doing none of those, but um, it just gives you a little bit of information and it perhaps can alter the way you deal with somebody. How are you? Are you all right? Turn it off for us, mate. <laughs> it's ridiculous. What's ridiculous? We've called up six times in last what? Sunday. But some information, intelligence. Hey, team. bro. <laughs> hey, twice in the same episode is wild. Actually, been uh, taking cocaine yeah, tonight. Once again, yeah. Yeah, we've yeah. obviously been following you for a little distance down with that A1. Right. We've seen you veering onto white lines this moment in time. We're a bit asking for a specimen, a sample of saliva. No You've done it before, haven't you? Yeah. If we just crack on and do that, then yeah. Absolutely. All right. Obviously, any coke. He need to take a meeting. He need to go to a, 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 a Alcoholics Anonymous or something. I don't even know what it's called. Pain. Any yeah. cannabis, it'll come back and obviously tell us about it. Just put it in that phone. Right, what how did you set off? Yeah, I did a full day in office and then set off about four. Mm. When did you get arrested? Oh, right. Friday, Wednesday, Monday. For traces. <laughs> well, looking at his vehicle, he's uh, obviously in the car transport or, or motor trade. So he may be of a mindset and now of, I've got to get as much as I possibly can done before I lose my licence. And he's got, obviously got no regard for road safety. Right, matey. So control line there. And we've also got a test line, you see, for cocaine. So he tested positive for cocaine. But Obviously. If it's 20 days, it's last in his system and he just got arrested for it two days ago. It's basically means you're driving unfit under the influence of drugs. All right, buddy. So we've got him stopped. We're going to take a further blood sample from him and that'll be sent off and that will give us the evidential reading. The driver will face yet another night in custody and potentially a lengthy driving ban. I've got a family. They're literally looking for you. They, you have a target on your back. Every time they see you, they're pulling you over. I've got two daughters. I've got a partner. And as I said, it just it worries me intently that my family are using these roads. That's why I make it sort of my personal mission to make sure we get as many of these drivers off the roads as we possibly can. He's a repeat offender, using recreational control substances and driving big, heavy cars on fast road networks for long hours without a care in the world. Um, and he's doing so over and over again. And he's getting caught doing it repeatedly. But that's not influencing his behaviour. His need for drugs is overriding any common sense that he might have. So any he's not sense. thinking straight. No. He ain't thinking straight. He ain't driving properly. In this episode. I ain't done anything. Whoa! Whoa! On the floor now. Whoa. On the floor. Whoa. Down. <laughs> Uh, hey, I didn't hear him say whoa, whoa the first time. That's crazy. Young man who admitted having a bad cocaine habit was fined £300 and banned from the roads for 12 months for drug driving and no licence. If you were driving like an idiot, you've had drugs on you and your pupils are that wide, mate, I can't see the rest of your eyes. Well, so I suspect you that to be under the influence of a drug. No action was taken against him for any drug dealing offences. <laughs> called him Lil Dirk eyes. I call him Lil York eyes. <laughs> Lil York. This is Lil York. <laughs> so I'm going to give you the So I suspect that you've probably been telling me a bit of a porky about whether you use drugs or not because it's indicated for cannabis in your system. The young driver, who Gav and Chris suspect lost control on a motorway due to being under the influence of cannabis. Is there any drugs on you or in the vehicle that I'm going to find? Is currently released under investigation pending the results of his evidential drugs test. When you're told to stop by the police, you pull over and stop. 
the van driver. He need to get some time. I don't, I don't wish no jail time on nobody, but hey, he need to get clean. This dude allegedly spotted snorting cocaine at the wheel of a three-ton transporter. Twice. Who tested positive at the roadside twice in the space of a week. It's ridiculous. That's What's ridiculous? <laughs> it's ridiculous that I keep getting caught. <laughs> I need to do better. Another six times it lost what some does. Have you? was prosecuted for drug driving and disqualified for one year. He was also ordered to pay fines and costs of over £200. Mm. Right. I'll see you at custody. Got your bag in there, yeah? No! Right. And after <laughs> crashing parked cars and denying any involvement, the drunk woman pleaded guilty to driving three and a half times over the limit. I, 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 she is just one of 5,000 drunk drivers who have re-offended in the last four years. No. Oh, can you get off me, please? Sit yourself in the At court, she received a 12-month community order, including 150 hours unpaid work, 25 days rehabilitation activity, and she must wear an alcohol abstinence tag for 120 days. What, the, what is an alcohol abstinence tag? What the hell is that? She was also banned from the roads for two and a half years. I'm going to ask you again. Two and a half years? And who was driving that car? It wasn't me. It wasn't you? No. Right. She claimed when she was arrested that uh, her nephew had been driving, but uh, upon going round to a house, uh, we've... Trying to put it on your nephew is a little bit crazy to me. ...found that she's got a CCTV camera outside the house pointing exactly where she parked a car up. So this is a car coming down the road at the minute. Looks like she's trying to open the door now, but probably because of the damage to the car, she, she can't open the door. It only looks like there's one person in that car. In fact, you can actually see her moving across now into the passenger seat. Sure enough, caught on her own CCTV getting out of the car and going and looking at the damage and putting her hands up to her head and saying, God, what have I done? Taking that chance and getting behind the wheel whilst drunk, uh, you're a ticking time bomb. There's every chance that you're going to have. Forgetting that you're on your own CCTV is the craziest thing. Crash. Thankfully today, uh, she's not seriously hurt somebody. It's really important that we get this kind of driver uh, off our roads. Uh, they are a danger to everyone using our roads, as well as a danger to themselves. She's a dummy. <laughs> w episode. <laughs> TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post, no tease. You only get one today. It's Friday. Enjoy y'all Fridays.